Colorado Springs based organization that looks to combat human trafficking in the area. They are looking to expand their reach with a 5k fundraiser that runs until the end of September. 11 News reporter Jared Dean joins us now from downtown Colorado Springs. Jared, this foundation is new as of this year. Yeah, Melissa, the Lotus Foundation was founded with a mission, and that mission was to provide case services as well as other services to victims of both sex and labor trafficking right here in our backyard. So there are a lot of survivors in the area, not just in Colorado Springs, in all of Colorado. Um, and we kind of just want to be here for them. The Lotus Foundation provides confidential advocacy options for survivors of human trafficking in the Pikes Peak area. They operate on a case by case basis and determine the services and case management based on the needs of their client and find ways to provide however they can. All of their needs are different. That's um, why we are trying to do a little bit of everything um, and do it very individualized because no two survivors are the same. Recently, the FBI carried out an operation which recovered 27 trafficking victims, including both kids and teens in Colorado as a part of a nationwide operation. The operation has been ongoing for 13 years and involved 40 agencies, including both the Colorado Springs Police Department and the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Again, this problem is here. It surpasses all demographics. Um, it is across the board, and so it is something that parents um, should have on their radar. The Lotus Foundation is focused on building onto the resources and experience they already have to provide the best environment possible for survivors. If we can't do it, we can find someone to refer to in the community. We can call in a favor. We can, you know, anything we can do, we will find a way to get them what they need. Now, although they're just getting started, they say on their website that they're looking towards the future and they're hoping to have a safe house for survivors. Live in Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. Important work. Thank you, Jared.